Canada, a small little town. And actually before we lived in a small town, my parents had us living in the bush, like full on, isolated, nothing around for hundreds of miles type of bush. Um, and they wanted to start a family run fishing resort. And so they, they needed to create electricity, so they built a hydro generator, they, they dammed a waterfall, they created a hydro generator, we created our own electricity, and my dad and my brother were the fishing guides, he was like 10 years old, taking people out. My mom was the cook, I was the little waiter with the shiny shoes and the knee-high socks and the shorts and the shirt that matched the drapes because my mom made all three. <laughs> like it was like super, super humble beginnings. And uh, the cool thing about that was there was no entertainment except for me and my dad. So at like literally 10 years old, I'd be out there after dinner and I want to hear what that is. What is that? Cell phone? Oh, it's a hearing aid. Oh, you turned it back down or back up. Just kidding. Um, so we would do the entertainment for the night. And it was, a, I fell in love with like all the rootsy folky um, artists like Gordon Lightfoot, Roy Orbison, John Prime, and that was sort of how I grew up telling stories with my dad. And so that's the backdrop of sort of how I got into music, and it was about three years ago. I was driving down the highway, just me and my dad, and he's like the master of one-liners, you know? And out of nowhere, he just says like, who knows how you live in your mind? I was like, wow, that's a, that's a great line. Um, do you, and I've never done this before, I'm like, do you want to write a song with me? He's like, sure. So we start, coming up with ideas on the road, we go home, we start brainstorming, and we might bring my mom into the project, and she starts giving feedback, and, and we, the, the song starts to take on this life of its own, and we start to reflect back on those early days of Nemo Bay, you know, when it was no one but the family, and it was a little bit of Mosquito Coast going on, you know, it was a little bit crazy, and, um, you know, talking about the sacrifices that were made, and the hardships and whatnot, and I realized that I was doing couples counseling, <laughs> with my mom and dad, and I'm like, do you like it, mom? She's like, yeah, it's really good. All well, the things she wanted my dad to say in a song and never did, it was right, it was perfect. And uh, so basically the song really was about, you know, how to go on living with the ones that you've chosen in your life, despite, you know, things that have happened in the past, and how to look past those things. And it was this, it became this beautiful universal message, but it was really about that sort of story of my mom and dad a little bit. So um, this is the song. Um, I wrote with my mom and dad. It's called uh, Let It Go. Enjoy. Let's get my back in here. Oh, what occurred 
we try and hard to hide.